In this video, we'll break down how to create a really cool paper rip match cut effect in Final Cut Pro 10. Now, the paper assets that I'll be using in this video are from Brian Delmata. They're the Paper Rips and Fold V2 pack, but he also has a whole bunch of other packs. The link is going to be down in the description below. So, in this video, I'll just basically show you the very basic example of how I created this really cool intro, and then you can use those same techniques to make it even more advanced or even more crazy. But in this video, I just want to give you the bare basics to creating these really cool transitions. So I have two photos right here. So I have this photo and then I have this photo right here. Now you want the photos to be relatively similar. So you see they're kind of relatively in the same frame. So what you want to do is you want to find whatever photo you want to use first. So let's say you want to use this photo as kind of the main example. What you can do is head over here to the show horizon lines. And what you want to do is you want to find something to put in the center. So let's zoom into let's say like 200% and select this photo and let's say you want like the tip of his nose to be in the center so take the position and drag it over and then drag down the Y and let's say we want basically his tip of his nose to be in the center of the frame this can be anything in your shot but we'll just use his nose as the example now let's go ahead and place the second photo on top of it and now we're going to kind of do the same thing too we're going to increase the scale to maybe like 170 or something like this now we're going to go ahead and rotate it to maybe something like negative 4 4.1 and now we can take the X position and move the Y position down too. Now we can also maybe zoom in a little bit to 400% and maybe we'll, go, we'll actually go back to 200%. Now what we can do is we can select on this photo and we can just simply bring down the opacity and basically just kind of keep repositioning it until we get it into the position that we want. So something like that should be pretty good. If we can zoom in even more to like 400%. So we can go ahead and let's bring the opacity back to 100. So we go to right here. Maybe we, maybe we want to take the opacity down a little bit and maybe move the position up something like that. You can also go back, let's, say, let's go back to 200% and let's take the opacity and put it back to 100%. We can take the crop tool and let's crop it a little bit to kind of give to kind of get a really good idea of where we want this to be. This is very much of like, you know, a trial and error. So we're going to just keep messing with it. So we again, you can mess with the crop, you can mess with the opacity and let's drop it down something like this. Now this is looking like it's lining up a little bit better. So as you can see, I think that looks pretty. So you see we do the crop tool, kind of an example. I see the nose it lines up pretty well so I think that's pretty good let's go ahead and reset the crop and then as you can see now let's go and disable the horizon grid so we go like this you so see I think that matches pretty so you see where the, his nose is I think the nose the nose match pretty well so let's go ahead and place it over here and that's basically how you line up clips now again the, you want the clips to be pretty similar but you're gonna have to tweak it a little bit in post to make sure everything lines up correctly now what you want to do is you want to import the paper rip asset so click on command I to bring up the import window and locate where you have it saved so I have it saved in editing assets Brian Dalmada and then rips and fold v2 so let's go ahead and select one that we want so we kind of go down so you see you have all these really cool um, options so let's say we want to use let's say um, black rip 15 so select them whichever one you want to use and then click on import selected and then locate where you have it as you see black rip uh, 15 now place it on top of the of the photo you want to use and trim it to the the same duration now what you want to do is you want to select the paper up asset you could just obviously you could increase the scale and then just change it to screen to get like a really cool like paper um, effect if you want to do that or we can do is we can actually select on this paper rip go to blend mode change the blend mode to stencil alpha that will basically put it inside um, the paper rip um, overlay now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and just hold down the option key to duplicate it select on this paper rip and then go to the blend mode and we're going to change that blend mode to screen so as you can see now it's inside the paper rip now what we're going to do is we're going to select all three of these click on option G and we'll just name this paper um, one obviously name whatever you want and there you want to create a compound clip now place that on top of the photo of the of the other photo right here the first photo now what you could do is there's a whole bunch of other things you can do let's first go over here to the effects panel and we're gonna go ahead and type up draw mask and place it on top of the paper rip and just exit out of the effects now we're gonna zoom in and cut out whatever we want let's say we want to cut along this white line you can be as precise as you want so again you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing but these most of these paper assets have these like white lines you can cut across which I think just 
look a lot uh, look a lot better. We'll go back to 50%. You have to cut around the outside of the image, and then once you see this little like a uh, circle, now it will connect. And then as you see, there we go. So you see, now you have this really cool. See how it like, kind of like matches with the original image. I think that looks just looks really cool. So let's offset a little bit. Let's go like one, two. Um, actually, let's go ahead and minus that a little bit, and let's extend this image to make it um, a lot longer. So let's say maybe we'll something like this. We'll extend this gap clip. Now, as you see, now you might try to extend um, this paper, but as you see this red line, what you want to do is you want to open up the compound clip, select all of them, click on Control D, and then let's say something like two seconds. So I set it two seconds. Now we increase the duration. Now we can go ahead and extend out this compound clip. And now you can kind of mess with it and get the look that you want. So let's go something like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's go ahead and trim it. And then one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. And go ahead and just blade this. And we could either, if there's multiple ones, we could add another mask. Or in this case, we could just invert the mask. So see, now it's on the other side. And then we'll go ahead and just trim this to be something like seven frames. And then of course, now you can introduce a second image. But I'm just gonna do two images just for the, just for the sake of the tutorial. So if we play the clip, this is what it looks like. You have this really cool, see? This really cool like match cut effect. And there you go, that's how you create that. Those are basically like the, the bare basic techniques. And you can go through and mess with it and make it even more advanced. Let's say we also maybe wanna add like a paper texture. So we can say, let's, let's place this paper texture on top of uh, this bottom image right here. And we'll go ahead and just trim it and then select the paper rip and let's say something like negative um, 90 degrees. And we'll increase the scale a little bit so it covers up the image and then change the blend mode to screen. So you see now you have a little bit like a paper um, texture on top of the actual image. So if we wait for Final Cut to render, you have this really cool match cut um, transition. We play it right here. You have this really clean match cut transition. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it helpful and informative. If you want to download the really cool paper rip assets shown in this video, I have an affiliate link which will be down in the description below. If you also want to purchase some other really cool Final Cut Pro plugins, presets, and overlays, definitely go ahead and check out my digital store. Anyways, I'll see you in the next one. Peace.